Do you know what the future of aviation will look like when hydrogen has the potential to become a key fuel source? Similar to how vehicles worldwide are gradually shifting to electric power, hydrogen promises to revolutionize air transport. To realize this ambition, Airbus is working towards commercializing hydrogen-powered aircraft. What impact will this project have on the future of aviation? Why has Airbus placed such high hopes and ambitions on this project? Let's explore together. What if the future of flying produced no emissions at all? In recent years, Airbus has developed the A321 XLR, considered the future of long-range narrow-body flights due to its exceptional range and excellent fuel efficiency. With a range of up to 4,700 nautical miles, the jet offers a solution for non-stop direct routes connecting major and smaller cities, creating a new hallmark for flexibility and cost optimization in the global network. This aircraft not only meets the demands of airlines in the new era, but also contributes to the sustainable development of aviation by significantly reducing emissions. But while the XLR redefined efficiency, Airbus was already looking further ahead toward an even bolder vision, flying with zero emissions. In 2020, when Airbus launched the ambitious Zero-E project, setting out to pioneer the future of aviation with hydrogen propulsion. In the early phases, the team explored two promising technologies, hydrogen combustion and hydrogen fuel cells, each presenting a potential path to zero emission flight. Over the years, intensive research and testing took place, including building prototypes and experimenting with complementary technologies like cryogenics to manage hydrogen fuel efficiently. By 2025, the analysis of test results and prototype performances indicated that hydrogen fuel cell technology held stronger promise. The successful powering on and testing of a fuel cell prototype delivering 1.2 megawatts, supported by complementary technologies such as cryogenics for hydrogen storage, provided substantial evidence of viability. This led Airbus to channel efforts toward a fully electric propulsion system powered by multiple fuel cell stacks, each driving individual propellers, thus combining environmental sustainability with the operational needs of commercial flight. The next logical step was to translate this technology into tangible aircraft designs that could shape the future of commercial aviation. This is just the start of the jet journey. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to stay ahead of the next big breakthroughs. Airbus has unveiled three concept designs, all codenamed Zero E, aimed at developing the world's first climate neutral, zero emission commercial aircraft. These three designs represent different approaches to applying hydrogen fuel technology in aviation. So what are the three designs? The first concept is a turbofan engine aircraft capable of carrying between 120 and 200 passengers with a range exceeding 2,000 nautical miles suitable for transcontinental flights. This aircraft uses an improved gas turbine engine that burns hydrogen instead of conventional jet fuel with liquid hydrogen stored and supplied from tanks located behind the rear pressure bulkhead. The second concept is a turboprop aircraft with a maximum capacity of 100 passengers, also powered by hydrogen combustion in enhanced gas turbine engines but operating with propeller engines instead of turbofan engines. It has a range of over 1,000 nautical miles, making it perfect for short-haul flights. The third concept features a blended wing body design capable of carrying up to 200 passengers, where the wings merge seamlessly with the main body, creating a spacious fuselage that opens up many options for hydrogen storage and distribution, as well as flexible cabin configurations. Its operational range is comparable to the turbofan concept. Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauri emphasizes that transitioning to hydrogen as the primary energy source for these conceptual aircraft will require decisive action and coordinated effort across the entire aviation ecosystem. Together with support from governments and industrial partners, Airbus is confident in overcoming the challenges to scale renewable energy and hydrogen for a sustainable future in aviation. To tackle these challenges, Airbus points out that airports will need significant hydrogen transport and refueling infrastructure to meet daily operational demands. Government support is considered pivotal in achieving these ambitious goals through increased funding for research and technology, digitalization, incentives for sustainable fuel usage, and fleet renewal policies that enable airlines to phase out older, less environmentally friendly aircraft sooner, thereby accelerating the global green transition of the aviation industry. Airbus's Zero-E project has sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry, particularly at Boeing, because it represents a bold and visionary leap toward the future of aviation that could render traditional jet fuel-powered aircraft obsolete. The revolutionary nature of the jet lies in its commitment to hydrogen-powered propulsion, which promises zero carbon emissions and a fundamentally new approach to aircraft design and operation. 
Airbus has developed three distinct concept aircraft under the project, each dramatically different from conventional designs that underscore its technological ambition. This includes a turbofan concept capable of flying over 2,000 nautical miles with hydrogen combustion-powered engines, a turboprop model optimized for short-haul routes, and an unprecedented blended wing body design offering revolutionary cabin layouts and hydrogen storage solutions. The project also features advanced hydrogen fuel cell propulsion systems delivering multi-megawatt electric power, showcasing Airbus's commitment beyond concept into viable technological innovation. The impact on Boeing is profound because while Airbus is aggressively investing in making public strides in hydrogen technology, Boeing faces challenges including ongoing legal troubles, delivery delays, and slower progress on alternative fuelable aircraft. Airbus's progress highlights a potential paradigm shift in aviation sustainability, pressuring competitors to accelerate their own green innovations or risk losing technological leadership. Moreover, Airbus has chosen the iconic A380 as a testbed for integrating hydrogen fuel cell engines, demonstrating a practical path forward for large commercial aircraft. This proactive strategy cements Airbus's position at the forefront of sustainable aviation, signaling to the industry and global regulators that a hydrogen-powered future is not just a vision, but an advancing reality. In contrast, Boeing has been more cautious, focusing on evolutionary improvements to existing aircraft rather than revolutionary changes. The industry views the project as a catalyst that could disrupt market dynamics by establishing hydrogen propulsion as the gold standard of clean aviation, compelling competitors like Boeing to respond or risk being left behind. This growing momentum combined with Airbus's tangible achievements in fuel cell development, hydrogen storage, and integrated systems has triggered a wake-up call at Boeing, thus the phrase, this new aircraft shocks Boeing, aptly captures the competitive and technological challenge posed by Airbus's trailblazing project. The Zero-E project, while groundbreaking and promising, faces a number of significant challenges on its way to revolutionizing aviation with hydrogen propulsion. One of the primary difficulties lies in the production and supply of green hydrogen at an industrial scale. To truly reduce carbon emissions, the hydrogen used must be generated from renewable sources rather than fossil fuels, which is currently a costly and energy-intensive process. Another technical challenge is the storage and integration of hydrogen in aircraft. Hydrogen has a very low volumetric energy density compared to conventional jet fuels, requiring large, well-insulated cryogenic tanks to store it in liquid form at extremely low temperatures. This places design constraints on the size, weight, and balance of the aircraft, complicating its integration without reducing passenger or cargo capacity. Safety is also paramount, as hydrogen is highly flammable, requiring rigorous testing and new standards for safe handling, storage, and operation on aircraft. Furthermore, airport infrastructure around the world needs to be extensively upgraded to support hydrogen refueling, transport and storage facilities, requiring significant investment and international coordination. Regulatory frameworks must also be developed to certify and regulate hydrogen-powered aircraft, a lengthy and complex process. Economically, the transition to the new aircraft requires large initial investments in research, development, production, and airline fleet renewal, while market adoption depends on competitive operating costs and airlines' readiness to change. Finally, the supply chain for hydrogen aircraft components, including fuel cells, compressors, and refrigeration systems, must be robust. Despite these obstacles, Airbus is actively advancing the jet technology with prototype testing and partnerships to address these issues and move towards a sustainable, zero-emission future for commercial aviation. However, achieving this transformational vision will require continued technological innovation, collaborative policy support, and industry-wide commitment over the coming decades. So what do you think? Is hydrogen the true future of aviation or Airbus's biggest gamble yet? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The road to 2035 is well underway as Airbus races to revolutionize the future of aviation with its groundbreaking new project, which aims to introduce the world's first commercially viable, hydrogen-powered, climate-neutral aircraft. Originally planned for launch in 2035, the project has spurred unprecedented research and innovation into hydrogen propulsion technology and aircraft design, putting Airbus at the forefront of sustainable aviation. Since launching the new aircraft in 2020, Airbus has explored a number of propulsion concepts, eventually choosing hydrogen fuel cells powering an electric propeller system as the most promising path. The system comprises four electric motors, each generating 1.2 megawatts of power from their respective fuel cell stacks, 
converting hydrogen and oxygen into clean electricity, leaving water vapor as the only emission. The successful commissioning of a 1.2 megawatt fuel cell demonstration in 2023 marks an important milestone, confirming the feasibility of extending this technology to commercial aircraft. Despite ambitious targets, Airbus has recently acknowledged practical challenges including slower-than-expected progress in hydrogen production from renewable sources, the early state of hydrogen refueling infrastructure at airports, and the complexity of integrating aircraft technology leading to a delay in the original 2035 entry-in-service target to the early 2040s. However, Airbus is actively advancing this journey through integrated testing programs such as validating cryogenic hydrogen storage and delivery systems in collaboration with partners with upcoming ground system integration tests scheduled for 2027. Furthermore, Airbus is also planning to develop a comprehensive ecosystem involving airlines, airports, fuel suppliers, regulators, and governments to address hydrogen life cycle challenges from production to refueling and regulatory certification. The strategic importance of the Zero-E project cannot be overstated. It is more than just a new aircraft. It is a blueprint for the entire aviation industry's transformation towards net zero emissions, addressing the highest carbon footprint in the transport sector. Airbus's iterative design process explores multiple aircraft configurations including advanced hybrid wing fuselage designs and conventional turbofan and turboprop engine variants tailored to different flight lengths and passenger needs. These designs are expected to simultaneously improve operational efficiency, passenger experience, and environmental impact. The road to 2035 or beyond requires a multi-pronged approach, balancing technological maturity, supply chain readiness, infrastructure development, regulatory framework development, and financial investment. Airbus has demonstrated a significant commitment with over $1.7 billion invested in hydrogen aviation to date and programs supporting the expansion of hydrogen infrastructure at airports worldwide. While the timeline has changed, the momentum remains undiminished, with the aviation industry, governments, and environmentalists recognizing hydrogen-powered flight as a key enabler to achieving global climate goals. Ultimately, the JET initiative represents a visionary step towards a sustainable future where commercial flights emit virtually zero greenhouse gases, reshaping the way people and goods move around the world. If successful, the introduction of this new aircraft would not only mark a historic technological breakthrough, but also initiate an industry-wide paradigm shift towards cleaner, more efficient, and climate-friendly air transport, transforming aviation forever. The countdown to 2035 challenges Airbus, and the entire aviation community to innovate rapidly, collaborate deeply, and lead responsibly to realize this ambitious goal. Airbus's Zero-E project shows that the future of aviation could be cleaner and greener. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.